Water. Huh? Dear Tim and Moby, what makes a desert so hot? From Wailing. Actually, deserts don't have to be hot like this one; just very dry. There are hot deserts, cold deserts, and sort of in-between deserts too. Deserts are also known as arid regions, and they're the driest places on Earth. Because moisture prevents soil erosion, arid regions are usually pretty rocky. Some are covered in huge hills of sand called dunes, which are shaped and pushed around by the wind. Well, a desert's climate is mainly a factor of where it is on the planet. Hot deserts like the Sahara in Africa are found in two belts around 30 degrees north and south of the equator. Permanent areas of high pressure in these latitudes keep dry air circulating near the planet's surface, and the sun's rays hit the Earth pretty directly here. All that hot, dry air means lots of evaporation. With so little water to cool the land and air, temperatures in hot deserts can reach over 55 degrees Celsius or more than 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, we could wait. Deserts cool off fast once the sun goes down. Whoa. High-pressure systems and cold ocean currents near the Earth's poles are responsible for the polar deserts. This is the Antarctic desert, and it's the biggest in the world. Well, the colder the air, the less moisture it can hold, and Antarctica has the lowest temperatures on record. Most organisms in polar deserts live near the coasts, where the oceans provide food and temperatures are a bit warmer. <laughs> Local geography has a big impact on arid regions too. Asia's Gobi Desert formed because it's so far away from the ocean. By the time any clouds arrive from the coast, they've most likely already dumped all their rain. But hot or cold, deserts are some of the harshest environments on the planet. It takes special types of plants and animals to survive in them. In hot deserts, most animals sleep below ground or in patches of shade during the day. They come out at night when it's cooler. Animals in cold deserts have the opposite problem: they need thick fur and layers of fat to weather the cold temperatures. Many desert organisms also need special adaptations to get and keep the water they need. Cactuses use sprawling, shallow roots to soak up water. They can store lots of water in their rubbery stems, and they don't have any leaves to lose moisture through. I bet you can guess what the spines are for. Penguins and seals are able to drink seawater, and many desert mammals have evolved special ways to keep water. Kangaroo rats, for instance, live in underground dens, which stay cool and keeps the little guys from sweating out too much water. The rats also use the enclosed space to recycle the water they release as they breathe. Even humans have managed to carve out a living in every desert in the world, except Antarctica. Do you think you could survive in a cold desert? No, I said cold desert. Desert. That's ice cream. <laughs>